All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make um, an image that is made up out of text. So let's get started. What you need to do is find a picture of someone's face or maybe just a subject. You could probably try a car or something like that, but don't try to do scenery where it's like, you know, a forest or something like that. It won't work. So I'm going to use this picture of Shrek. It works quite well. The first thing that you need to do is go to filter blur and pick this Gaussian blur here and just set it to 15 and say OK. Then you need to save as and just call this this place and save it as a PSD. This is very important. Make sure you save it as a Photoshop file, not a JPEG. Save it as a Photoshop file, a .psd and say save. All right, now I want to open up my original Shrek again because we do not need that picture right now. So let's go back to open recent and let me get my other picture of Shrek. The next part is to copy the lyrics to the song that I want to have on here. So I've looked the song up here from Shrek and I'm going to copy all of it. So drag your cursor and collect and copy all of the text and do control C and then let's go to Photoshop and you want to get a text box. So click on the text tool and drag a box from the very top corner all the way across the whole image like that. And then do paste. And what you have to do is to delete all the space that's in here. All this text needs to be really close together. So you're going to need to put your cursor in front of every sentence and press delete and then put a space back in and fill that all the way up like this. Delete the words pre-chorus. So you can see as I'm doing this that there's still some space here. We don't want any space or this doesn't work. So if you see a line that still has some space, go back to the line below it, put your cursor there and press delete. So it needs to be all tight with no space. So notice how there's still some space here. Keep checking that, that there, all the space is fixed. You don't want to have any, any space left. All right, so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to delete the end of my song just so I can move along faster. So I have all my text here and what you need to do is go to window and open up character. Click window character and that opens this panel here. So character just means text. You should set your font on, it can be any font you want, but I think Arial bold looks pretty good. So I'm going to choose Arial and it definitely needs to be a bold font to really do this properly. And then as far as the size goes, I'm going to go ahead and select all that. As far as the size goes, this is really flexible. It doesn't matter how, how big you make your text or how small. And what's really important is to change this right here. This is called the tracking. So notice how I hold my cursor over that. It says tracking. It has a V and an A and a white box. This is something that's on the test and I really wanted to make sure that you know how to set tracking. So if I hold my cursor over this V and A, notice how if I pull it to the right, it spaces the text out. If I pull it to the left, it makes it really squeezed together. So I want it pretty squeezed together, not so squeezed that you can't read it, but I'm going to put mine on negative 100. And then the next thing you need to know is the one above that with the A over an A. This is called, it's either leading or letting. I always say it wrong and someone tells me on YouTube. So whatever. This one right here is the space between the lines of text. So notice how when I put my cursor there, the space gets really big and I go like this, it makes it small. So tighten up your letting or your leading. I think it's letting like this so that it's really close together, but still readable. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Now it doesn't matter what color the text is or anything. Just make everything really tight so there's no space. And I'm going to copy this now. So I have that selected control C. And then I'm going to do control V over and over again until the whole space has the text in it. All right.
Okay, so the next step after you have all your text like that is to make a new layer. So layer, new layer. This is just going to be a blank layer. And you're going to hold your shift key so that you have the text layer and this new blank layer selected. Right click and say merge layers, which is control E. Now you see I have all that text as an image now instead of as editable text. Now we need to put a filter on it. So go to filter, distort, displace. And then you're going to say 10, 10, stretch to fit, repeat edge pixels. Say OK. And then it's going to ask you, it's going to ask you to find your displace folder that you made at the beginning. So this was the first thing we did. We made this displace.psd. You're going to say open. And then you see when I did that, it made all the text warped. And it's kind of following the shape of Shrek's face. So we just have a little bit left to do on this. We have this text layer now that's warped from the displace filter. You want to go to select, load selection, say OK. Now you can see all that text is selected. And you want to go on your original photo now. So go to your Layers tab and click on that original photo. And do Control c and Control v All right, now we can delete all the other layers except for that one that we just made that has the copied, warped, displaced text on it. And now we just need a background. Go up here to Layer, and you can say a new fill layer. And choose Solid Color, and say OK. And you can change that to any color you want. I think that this is going to look better being a dark color. And then I want to drag that below the Shrek. All right, so then you can see I have my text wrapping around Shrek. And it looks like, especially if you zoom out, you know, you can really see, see how it works. If you want to change this color, you just double click on that and you can change it to a different color. And then one other thing I want to show you, if you don't want just a solid color, you could also just go to layer new fill layer and choose gradient. That might give you a cool effect too. If you click on this gradient arrow there, you can open up some of these different gradients that are already made up. If you want to edit any of them, you can click on that gradient bar and then this comes up. You can click on these are called color stops. If you want to change any of the colors, click on them and then you can say color and you can change the color. All right, so you don't have to do the gradient thing, but I want you to know how to do it in case that you want to try it on your poster.